Hello and thank you for joining us for today's in-depth review video. In today's video, we're gonna review and give you our unbiased feedback on the brand new Will Model FI, which is the folding power wheelchair made by Will. We offer this wheelchair and many other wheelchairs like it for sale on our website, mobilitydirect.com. Feel free to visit our product page with the link in the description below to learn more about this product. Let's get started. Will is known for making the most sophisticated and user-friendly power wheelchairs on the market, and they did just that with the Model FI. It comes with a lithium battery that has a charging port on the battery, and it has a quick-release button that allows you to take the battery out really easily. It only weighs six pounds. You can charge the battery with the battery installed on the wheelchair in the docking station or when the battery is taken out. To fold the power wheelchair, there's a little hatch on the front right side panel, which is for the armrest assembly. And there's a little bar with a white sticker on the back of the seat, which you can grab onto. And if you use that latch and keep your foot on the plate that holds the anti-tip wheels in place, you can fold and unfold the chair with that same action lever. It's very easy to do. As you can see, turning on the joystick controller is done with a big, easy to read button for the power and there's a plus and a minus sign that allows you to control the speed modes. There are four different speed modes and the wheelchair goes up to 3.7 miles per hour. It has a very, very smooth ride and flat free solid tires. When you go over little bumps like this one, you really don't feel it too much and it's powerful enough to go on the grass, which is great. Not many power wheelchairs that are folding can handle the grass. This one can. As you can see, it's being traversed from sidewalk to grass without really any issues. And it's a very, very overall user-friendly power wheelchair. We consider it to be one of the top choices for anyone that's looking for a lightweight power wheelchair that can fold up and store easily in the trunk of a car. And we're gonna go over those dimensions and many other things about this chair here in just a moment. Starting with the ground clearance, it's about a 1.5 inch ground clearance, which is enough to just get over little bumps like the lip of a garage when you're entering or exiting a garage. It can handle inclines up to six degrees. Most ADA accessible ramps are 4.5 degrees. So it can handle your average ramp, but maybe not a very steep hill for long periods of time. Now the folded dimensions here on the screen are here for you to see if it will fit in your trunk. In this case, we're using a Cadillac CTS, which has a very small trunk. Now when you're going to fold the chair, and load it into the trunk of a car, there's actually a convenient area to hold onto with a white sticker. You do want to disengage the automatic brakes. There are two levers on the rear attached to the motor. And here we're zooming in on that little white indicator, the sticker there for the handle to carry it. But make sure you turn both the brakes on and then look for that white sticker, which is used for the handle to pick the actual wheelchair up when you're ready to stow it into the trunk of your car. You may need assistance. The chair without the battery does weigh 52.9 pounds, which for some people may be difficult. In this case, we're demonstrating what it's like to put it into the trunk. So it's very easy to use. Not only that, it's a great looking chair. Uh, we will go over the dimensions once again here when folded and unfolded. So you can see on the screen here as we demonstrate how to fold the chair again. Once again, pointing out the white indicator sticker, which is there to show you that, hey, if you grab that little bar there and put your foot on the anti-tip wheel foot plate, it will make the folding process very easy. So we just went ahead and engaged that action lever for the folding feature and pulled up on the bar. Now, when you're getting ready to fold it, unfold it rather, you push down on that bar with the white sticker on it. Very easy to do, and we're gonna compare this process to the Jazzy Passport made by Pride Mobility. Both great chairs, very comparable to one another. When you're getting ready to fold the Jazzy Passport, there's two spring-loaded levers that you push together, and then you just push down on the backrest. We're putting the folded and unfolded dimensions on the screen for you to compare the two models. And here, when you're getting ready to unfold it, you just push those two spring-loaded yellow tabs together and pull up on the backrest by the top of the backrest. Both chairs are very comparable. We're gonna show you spec for spec how they each um, are rated. We're gonna show you the specifications for each one and the ratings for each one. Uh, we do wanna point out that on the Will FI, you can charge the battery 
when it's on board or off board, meaning you can take the battery actually out of the docking station and charge it while it's on the docking station or off. And there is a little LED green light that will start blinking when it's charging and it will turn solid green when it's full. When it's red, it's just telling you that the charger is powered on. So here we're showing you, you can charge it on board, off board. Um, it does have a front wheel for anti-tip and you can flip up the foot plate to see that there. On the screen, we're also showing you that you can take off the armrest cover, which you have five different color choices. Uh, you can also change the location of the joystick controller and just take that cover that's removed here with the armrest and switch it to the other side. Uh, in the instructions that come with the user manual, you'll learn how to do all that. You can also adjust the width uh, of the armrest and the height of the armrest as well. Uh, going back to the joystick controller, just wanted to show you that it does have the speed modes one through four. And if you just hit the minus or the plus sign, it's going to toggle between those four different speed modes on the digital display there. And the joystick is pressure sensitive. It's got a very unique ergonomic grip to it. We're going to go ahead and skip on over to the dimensions and compare them spec for spec, starting with the distance between the armrests. Here, it looks like we have a total of about 16 inches set at the narrow adjustment setting, but you can expand that out. So it's rated here on the instructions, I believe on page 32, um, that it's 16.9 inches with the standard, or you can have it in the wide position, which gives you 18.1 inches between the armrests. So go ahead and defer to the user manual for installing the joystick controller on the left or the right side and configuring the armrest for a standard or a wide setting. Now going back to the seat comparison, the seat depth on the wheel is 15.7 inches approximately when we measured it. The back height is about 14 inches based off of our measurements here. And the seat to ground height is approximately 19.48 inches on the ratings, but we measured it to be a little bit higher with the cushion on. The footrests are about 12 inches by 8.75 inches. Again, we're measuring it here with our measuring tape. It might come out a little bit different compared to what's being displayed on the screen, which is the spec rating from the manufacturer. Uh, so eight and 832 uh, inches on the diameter for the rear wheel, solid flat free wheels, and about 7.63 inches on the diameter of the front wheels. Now comparing the two side by side, you can tell that they're both very similar to one another, but overall, I think the wheel is gonna be a little bit more compact on the width overall and the depth. The seat is 18 inches on the passport and the distance between the armrests is um, 18 inches, but you know it is adjustable on the wheel and it does compete pretty much right there at 18 inches. The depth is 17.5, whereas the wheel is a little bit shorter on the depth. Uh, the Passport does have a back height of 19 and the wheel has a back height that's also a little bit shorter. Uh, the seat to ground height is approximately 19 inches versus 19.4 for the wheel, ironically. So more uh, seat to ground height, but a little bit more of a compact of a chair. The foot plate is going to measure out to 12 inches by 9.75, which is pretty much almost the same as the wheel, just an inch shy on the depth for the wheel. And comparing the storage areas underneath the chair on both of them, the wheel definitely has more space. We're measuring here without any specification rating on the actual spec sheet that comes with the user manual, but it is bigger on the wheel, coming in at about 11 inches wide by 11 and a half inches deep, whereas the Passport is about 11 and a half by six and a half, seven inches, which is not much. So it definitely has more storage capacity, but on the Passport, it does have a pretty interesting looking tire with kind of anti-flat technology. They're 12 inches, which is actually bigger than the eight and 832 inch wheels on the wheel. And the front wheels are less than half an inch apart. They're basically the same size. Now, something else we wanna compare is the joystick features of the Jazzy Passport. It is a swing away joystick. You can also pivot it, kind of rotate it on its axis to kind of have it offset if you want. You can also extend the depth, switch it to the right or the left hand very easily with a bicycle style clamp. It's pressure sensitive, just like the wheel, and it does have speed adjustments. The wheel joystick controller is very robust. It has a lot of cool features with the mobile app, but you can also adjust the height, you can adjust the width. It does have different speed control modes that you can use. 
and it is pressure sensitive with a really nice LED display. They both are going to have electromagnetic brakes, which means you can't really push it unless you unlock the brakes. There are two brakes because there are two motors. So on the Passport, you've got these little cylinder style motor head with the release brakes on the top, the yellow switches there. You just give them a twist counterclockwise and now the wheels are free to spin. You can push it manually. With the wheel, there's just two levers. They're a little bit lower, but same concept. You just have to change the position of the lever to the unlocked position for both motors, and then you can manually push it in freewheel mode. Keep in mind, if you try to use this wheelchair with the freewheel levers disengaged, it will not work. And that's just a safety feature across all mobility scooters and power chairs. If you pull up the seat, you'll notice that there are some knobs on the wheel on the inner sides of each armrest, and that's going to be used to release the joystick controller or the cover on the opposing side so that you can switch the location of the joystick controller. Now, one thing that we do notice is that the battery removal process and putting the battery back on is a lot easier with the wheel. With the Jazzy Passport, you do have the option to get a larger battery, which is nice. But taking the battery off and on can be difficult for some customers because there's a little push release knob and some rails that you have to line up. You really have to get low to the ground and aim carefully and make sure that that release knob is pushed up when you're actually pushing the battery up against it. You can charge the battery off board with the Passport as well. And we just felt it was important to point all of that out. Now, something else that's really amazing about this product is that if you want to control it using a smartphone and the Will mobile app, you can actually do that and put a digital joystick on the screen to remotely control your Will FI. You can also lock it so that no one uses it when you don't want to. And to get started, what you need to do is download the Will app on your iPhone or Android powered device. And then the first thing you're going to see on the screen when you install the app is it's going to ask you to scan a QR code. You might have to allow the permissions for it to access your camera and audio. But once you do, you'll want to get the QR code that came with your Will FI and scan that barcode with the phone uh, camera that pops up on the app. That'll allow it to link up the wheelchair using Bluetooth, and then you can actually lock the chair so that no one can use it no matter what they do. If they try to power it on, it'll be locked. You can also control it remotely. And we're gonna demo that for you now. We just locked it, it's synced up, and it's locked, so it's not working. But if you go ahead and unlock it, by swiping to the left on that little blue bar, you'll see that if you go to the joystick controller mode, you can actually start controlling it remote control and it's a pretty amazing feature that no other power wheelchair that we've seen on the market is offering. It's a really great feature if you need to move the chair away from a piece of furniture that you're going to go to such as your bed or the couch when you're transferring from the bed or the couch to the chair you can bring the chair closer to you. So it's pretty awesome. Overall we highly recommend this as one of the best options for, as a folding power wheelchair. We we do offer it for sale tax-free and shipping is free at mobilitydirect.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to visit our website to claim your free catalog. All you have to do is go to our website, click on the green button at the top that says free catalog and fill out the form. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you liked it and you want to get notified when new videos come out just like it. Give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed the video and leave any questions that you have in the comment section below. We love answering questions. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.